So here's my other first stab at animating some AI generated art. And this one's not as automated. <laughs> it's a little bit um, more tricky with layers in After Effects, but it gets the job done for some simple animation. And so my, my first guinea pig is actually a cat, the Cheshire cat here, to, to add some simple animation to an otherwise still image from Mid Journey. And so the, the starting image, let me find our Cheshire cat here. Yeah, this guy, actually that wasn't even the starting image because it had a background. So the first step was I removed the background so that I had just him with a transparent background. And then using Adobe After Effects is where I, I did the animation. And to do this, I ended up having to just break out a lot of different layers to do all the different things that I wanted. So at the, at the very beginning, I wanted it to kind of blink to come to life. This is a super simple way of doing it. There's probably a better way, but all I did was add a couple solid layers in the shape of an eyelid and keyframe those to go up and down. <laughs> so you can see the keyframes uh, right here up on the mask, actually, the mask path. And so even though it's simplistic, doesn't look bad. It's not a bad blink. Similarly, I have the solid layer, which is the pupils. Zoom in here where you can see a little better. There's the pupils. And so those are also just keyframe to go back and forth to have them looking around. Now the original eye, I had to do some layers with the original eye too. Um, I wonder if I can even find the original. Let's turn off the masks here for a sec. Yeah, that's that's the original eye. Let me turn off my eyelids too. And so I I needed to kind of get rid of the pupil that was in the image in order to use my my fake pupils. And so I used a, a combination of a couple different layers of eyes with um with some masks to make it kind of look like it's just a solid eye. It looks funky in this mode, but once you put it all together, then it ends up looking good enough. Uh, and so I've got like a, an eye level back here that's same eye, but I just shifted it to the right to kind of fill in that dead space. Mouth was a little simpler. So out a bit. I have keyframing on the, the opacity just to have it appear. And then the little twist that I did on it though was this layer of the mouth has an effect called heat distortion from Video Copilot. And that's what gives it that ethereal, uh, foggy kind of look that I wanted. Now, usually I use that for heat or fire in the shows, but it looks pretty good as it, uh, just making the mouth kind of wiggle a little bit too. So with that and a combination of the opacity, then that's how we get the mouth to appear. And then I have another layer of the mouth that, that fades in that doesn't have the heat distortion. And then I did that exact same thing when the rest of the cat shows up. Then a couple of the other animations that I added. I, I put some keyframes on the puppet pin, the puppet pin effect right here to make the tail wiggle a little bit. And I used an expression called wiggle to have it be random. So the, the tail will just kind of move around. Then on the final layer, I added some, some smoke right at the time when the body started to fade in. And that's using a video from Production Crate. I could put a link in the description to that. So you get the smoke and then the heat distortion and then the, the cat appears. And just for good measure, I also split this layer into two to have the head separate and make his head moving back and forth a little. There you go. So through splicing that picture out into a whole bunch of different layers and keyframes, then we get uh, basic animation, but I think it looks cool.
Awesome. And like any of these, I'm going to make this available on our Patreon subscription as well. Uh, so on the, the bottom tier, you get access to all the images. Uh, coming up on 200 AI images as well as a bunch of others from projects from last year. And then the second tier gets access to the videos and any of these that I animate will be available there.